Welcome to part two of three in the stack series. This is going to be a short video on one way to implement a stack. So stacks are often implemented as either arrays, singly linked lists, or even sometimes doubly linked lists. Here I will cover how to push nodes onto a stack with a singly linked list. Later on, we will look at the source code, which is actually written using a doubly linked list. Okay, to begin with, we need somewhere to start to be in our linked list. So we're going to point the head to a null node. This means that the stack is initially empty. Then the trick to creating a stack using a singly linked list is to insert the new elements before the head and not at the tail of the list. This way, we have pointers pointing in the correct direction when we need to pop elements off of the stack. As we will soon see, the next element, however, we need to push onto the stack is a two, so let's do that. So we create a new node, adjust the head pointer to be the newest node, and then hook on the nodes next pointer to where the head was before and we use the same idea for 5 and also 13. Now let's have a look at popping elements. This isn't too hard either. Just move the head pointer to the next node and deallocate the last node. So here we pop the first node off the stack and set the node's reference to be null so that it will be picked up by the garbage collector if you're coding in Java, and it will since there are no other references pointing to it. If you're in another programming language that requires you to explicitly deallocate free memory yourself, like C or C++, now is the time to do that, or you will get memory leaks. Getting a memory leak in a data structure is one of the worst kinds of memory leaks, especially if it's a custom data structure that you intend on reusing. So keep watching out for that, not only in this video, but in all the data structures that uh, we will be covering. If you see in an implementation that I'm not correctly cleaning up my memory, please, please point it out to me or send a pull request to the GitHub repository so we can patch that. Okay. So we keep proceeding by removing the head and advancing the head pointer down to the next node. Uh, pop again, and pop again. Uh, there we go, we've stopped popping, we've reached the last node, and the stack is now empty. Alright, time to look at some source code. I implemented a stack using a doubly linked list that we can look at in some detail if you're interested in the source code for the stack. In the next video, I have a link at the code repo provided on the slide. It should be provided in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.